Good morning and welcome to CNN News 18 with me, Ayushman Singh Jamwala. Top story all the way from Wembley Stadium. Italy are the champions of Europe after defeating England in the final of Euro 2020. The three Lions took the lead early in the second minute thanks to Luke Shaw. But Italy's star defender Leonardo Bonucci equalised for his team in the 67th minute. After both the sides failed to add goals in regulation time as well as extra time, the result was decided in penalties with Italy emerging victorious 3-2. So that's the result from Wembley Stadium. I'm joined by Anand Narsimhan on the broadcast. Anand, it was a cracker of a match. England scoring at the beginning, but then there was a dead heat till the 67th minute. It continued after that all the way to, to that nail-biting penalty shootout. Yes, and many believe that if it went to penalties, the Italy will hold on, the Azuri will hold on. And uh, once again, that, that's exactly what happened. Many people uh, thought that uh, uh, it, it, if, if England have to win it, they have to win it either in normal time or by the time the extra time is over, or that is full time. But the moment uh, it goes into penalties, uh, it would have been uh, Italy all the way. That's what they thought, because uh, it, the Azuri just have this tenacity and this ability to turn things around. Now, imagine that England took the early lead through Luke Shaw right in the second minute. Mm -hmm. It was a, perhaps the quickest ever goal in the Euro final. And from there on, they were holding, 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 and Italy kept on pressing until the end. It was the 67th minute when the score, uh, when uh, you had Leonardo Bonucci uh, equalized. But the, but, but the fact is that Italy have got this uh, ability to turn it around on the big stage. And that's why they were always given uh, a bit of uh, an edge over England. And also the kind of uh, form that they have shown recently, 34 matches. This is the 35th match that Italy have been, or the Azuri have been unbeaten. This is the first final that England have reached since 1966. Mm -hmm. And look at the wave of expectations, the build-up that happened and, and, and total violation of all COVID protocols. It was mayhem on the streets of England because they were already celebrating. The fact that you had reached the final itself was celebration and people just wanted to break out. This was a cathartic moment for them. Mm -hmm. But most importantly, uh, it is not decided till that last, uh, till the last minute and till the last uh, the, uh, aspect, uh, the, uh, you know, the bulge on the net. And yeah. that's exactly what happened with the penalty. Yeah, absolutely. It was down to the wire till that last penalty shot, uh, which uh, uh, by uh, after Shaka missed that penalty shot. Yeah. It was right after when Italy uh, also uh, uh, hit, hit that shot. It was down to the last moment. And Anand, given the fact that for a long period, it was a 1-1 at the end of regulation time as well as extra time. Would you, see the, would you say that the stars of the entire match were the two goalies, Donnarumma and Pickford? Yes, they were, and uh, they had to. They had to. Uh, they had to, de you know, de deliver there, and uh, that was the only aspect. Uh, after the early on, after England had scored in the second minute, it was going to be defend uh, defending because Italy were going to continue to press for the equaliser. And Pickford has been uh, the pick of the goalkeepers right through the tournament. He's just been solid there, even when the England defence has shown la uh, been lax. He has been there, solid in front of goal, and uh, that 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 showed through. But, uh, you know, for Italy also, this is a story for themselves because uh, this is only their second European title after the 1968. And then after that, you had the 2006 World Cup win. But mm -hmm. after that, even these uh, the major titles have continued to elude them. But when it comes there, right down there to the wire, they just make the stars count uh, in their favour. And, and that's exactly uh, happened. Also, Anand, at the same time, England was a much younger team and uh, Italy was full of those veterans who kind of led them to such a victory. If you Even if you look at the penalty shootouts, Rashford missed his penalty, it hit the post and it went out of the field. Shaka also uh, did not score his penalty shootout. It was, it's quite discouraging for those young players in England one year away from the World Cup. No, it's not. I think it's a fantastic learning. They really? just okay. have been able to, uh, this, is, this is all learning for them and there are many, many years. A young side under uh, uh, Harry Kane has been able to do something which is phenomenal and uh, they will only appreciate what they have been able to, uh, their learnings from here and England will be a much better team when they get into the World Cup. They will take heart from the fact that they can beat the best in the business and they can be there on the big stage and this big stage is just waiting for them. Look on the other side, if you look at Copa Finals, what a super Sunday it was. You had the Copa Final early morning, 5.30 a.m. kickoff. You had the Wimbledon final in the evening and then late night you have the Euro final. It was a super sports Sunday. And uh, for, for Messi, it's after 17 years that he's been able to uh, get his hands on some silverware for his country. So look at the agonizing wait for the best player in the world. 
So, uh, for England, this is just the start. This is not the end. That's how the players have to look at it. I'm also joined by uh, Abrish Meena Saeed Kadri uh, on the broadcast. Uh, good morning. Uh, how do you see this match now that we're one year away from the World Cup? Uh, very interesting. I really think England uh, should have a good chance at the World Cup because they'll have the experience of this final. And uh, when it comes to Italy, it's all the more exciting because they already look so ready uh, right now. And it should be very, very interesting come the World Cup. Also, uh, how, how do you look at this match in this context where there was a dead heat throughout the match for a very long time? Both sides failed to convert. Would you say, I was asking Anand the same question, would you say the goalies are the heroes of this match, Donnarumma and Pickford? Donnarumma for sure, even Pickford, Pickford to an extent because even after Italy equalised, Pickford made a couple of very big saves to keep uh, England in the game. Uh, so, yeah, for sure, uh, the goalkeepers did very well. But also, uh, we have to look at the England defence. I think the amount of uh, attack that Italy did and the f for all the time that Italy had the ball possession, England actually did defend pretty well. Uh, but it was just not the day for them. And... Uh, the penalties are anybody's game at the end of the day, so yeah, I you can't really be blamed. Absolutely agree with you. Penalties, it just it can go to anyone. And now this trophy is going to Rome. One last question. If you look at the stats at the end of the match, over 70% of the possession was with Italy. Why do you think they were unable to uh, convert all of those chances at the goal? They didn't have too many chances at goal, actually. That is why I said that England did actually defend pretty well. Mm -hmm. Because even though uh, Italy had a lot of the ball, they weren't very, uh, they couldn't get through too much in the final third to create too many chances or to have too much shots at goal. I think they had like five shots, five or six shots at goal. Uh, in the whole of 90 minutes, I think, even though they took like 14, 15 shots. Mm -hmm. So, so yeah, I mean, in the final third, actually, uh, England did defend pretty well. So, yeah, that was the case. But the the problem was that Italy had too much of possession and England was completely on the back burner, which is what actually hurt them because uh, the only way you could have gone past Italy was to keep attacking them. Thank you for joining us on the broadcast and getting us your perspective on the match. Also, thank you to Anand for getting us his take on that cracker of a final uh, when it came to the Euro Cup. It's going to Rome now and 